Hey guys, still here and welcome back to From the Depths. Uh, today's episode is not going to be about building, at least not that much, because I'm being engaged by various different targets. I have a target over to my right, I have an another one or two targets over to my left slash port aft. There is plenty to do, um, I'm taking damage, I cannot afford to fix this gun at the moment. At least I don't have the time to do it. So we're going to set it up to one time speed and we're well, really going to kick it off with the, hopefully, with the amount of damage that I can put out. Um, and not so much the damage that they can put out. Let's increase speed to half power. Do as much damage as we can. I've handed off quite a lot of the weapon systems to the AI. And thereby hopefully allowing them to do damage for me. As I cannot possibly be managing all the guns myself. Now, believe it or not, yes, this is full speed. But there are so many explosions happening that the game seems to be slowing down some. And considering the mass amount of threats and large threats here, I wouldn't be surprised if we're approaching the end of the series. Considering how dangerous the enemies are becoming. Now, this guy's too low. That might mean he's going to blow up. Which would be great. Yeah, sinking. Too low. Excellent. Okay, what else do we have? Two, three targets on my back. That thing's down. There's still some airborne unit over there. That's a lot of incoming stuff. Fortunately, mostly is frag, which is something that this ship can, well, at least for now, withstand. The salvo of 24 surface to air missiles is going off against that flyer. Come on, disintegrate already. I use the resources. Come on. Since the railgun cannot aim up this high, I might as well use that new gun. I know I still need to adjust it, but for now, let's use it. And I'm still not sure exactly why I am looking at units which I cannot properly identify. Because if I go to the uh, to this screen, you'd normally get this pop-up that says, Hey, you're targeting this specific unit. It has that much amount of hit points left. Nothing. Some of them are those laser yachts. If I can puncture enough holes, or at least puncture the hole enough by making holes in it, it might sink. There we go, that's a nice strike on the bow. Looks like I'm not the only one trying to kill. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. It's a bit working on different targets there. Come on. Nope, missed. Is it, is it falling out of the sky? Well, it's starting to. Hold on. There might be something here. Just another chunk of damage. I'm also trying to start to maneuver to this guy to pick up the resources. There we go. Health below and sinking. Excellent. I have no idea what my ducks are doing. Or whether they're healthy or not. Let's tell them to go back to fleet mode and they might eventually turn up. Missiles incoming all over the place. 26 blocks fall off the glorious. Really? How's weapon 5? Can we launch that? It's going to target the flounder, but that's the target that's 4 kilometers out. It's not targeting the guy behind me. Which is what I would really like to get killed out of... Well, killed off. Just get it out of my way. That's a probably a good chunk of resources there. Is that a laser yacht, or what is that? Because I thought we just killed the other laser yacht. But I guess not. Something big happened. An explosion slowed the game down, and I think that that was the, the huge missile that did the damage. 
Oh, crap, I'm missing the resources. Turn starboard. If this guy is dead and we're left alone, at least for a bit, I might be able to fix that 60mm um, minigun duel that I have on the stern. Because I have some plans for a different build. Oh, there we go. Two damaged. Very good. I actually didn't expect us to make it out of this one alive. I thought there were so many threats and so many missiles coming in and lasers and stuff that I'm not really that well defended against that I was going to get my ass handed to me here. But we're still here. Believe it or not, we're still here. Oh, nice. 35,000 materials. Okay. Um, I guess that I can slow the game down now then and have a look at what I can do with these guns. Because I would like bigger guns. Something in the radius of 250mm. Uh, which is going to feed them different shells. What? I thought that wasn't possible. Oh, they're 150s. Uh, no. I want fewer barrels. Let's go for two barrels. I should just go to build mode. Build on the turret. These are two 250mm barrels. APS, two. There we go. No shell loaded. Exactly. That's what I'm here to adjust. Um, that's a turret. I need to go to the hull. Where's that shell selector? Because uh, British Knight, once again, gave me some excellent pointers on how to build this shell. He said, just go for one four-unit shell. That's all. And then, uh, for a large caliber heat, so 300 millimeter or larger, start simple. Put down one four-compartment. Um, two gun powder casings and a high explosive head. Oh, or sorry, a high explosive shell. High explosive... Warhead body, and then heat. Or no, was it shape charge? Heat warhead. Uh, which is the... Shape charge, I think. Uses immediately connected explosive warrants to blast the streams. Yes, that one. Okay, we're looking at something in the lines of 250. Thereby, and with the penetration factor going up... We can go for 45. Hopefully getting a decent amount of explosives. And these can... Oh, wow, they can fit in the... Wow. Okay, these can fit in those autoloaders. No space in the rack. Well, you're not wrong about that. We're going to have to clear out the entire clip. They can fit in the belt loaders, I think. That one's not... Oh, crap. That one's not connected. Mm hmm? Not sure what these two are doing here. Um, all of you. Yeah. No, that's the wrong one. This one. Shape, charge, head, nose. That's all. Assign that to everybody. And here too. Now let's clear the clips just for good measure. We're going to do that on both sides. And let's see what these things can do now. Speed the game up a little. Rack containing no shells. There we go. Can reload in four seconds. We were just waiting for that reload timer to calm down. And now we should be able to start putting guns or shells in here. There we are. We can mount 288 shells. Uh, we have far more absorption than we actually need at this point. And we can fire 100 rounds per minute. Because there's still one cooling thing that's an issue. Well, not one cooling thing, just cooling in general. Let me see if I can fix that bit. So, advanced cannons, splitter. How much cooling do we have? How much cooling do we need? Uh, we need to get it to 154. Something like that. We're now looking at... 
107. Yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit more than that. How the hell are you not connected? Oh, right. That makes sense. These things need to be pointed the other way. Like that. And now we can set up more cooling units. Let's see, we're looking at a cooling of 120, so that's two rounds per second per barrel. Oh, sorry, no, not per barrel. Uh, per APS system. So that's still a fairly substantial amount. I wouldn't at all be surprised if we're once again coming under attack. 140, not bad. I would like a bit more. Absorption is still good enough. Let's set this thing up to have a rate of fire of, uh, what was it, What 250 or 150? 150. APS 150. Copy. Paste. Now the shells that I'm firing from this gun are really quite small. Um, well, they're a thousand millimeters. Expected muzzle velocity, not very high. Range, only three and a half kilometers. Hmm. But we do throw out quite a lot of shells. So I'm hoping that that's going to offset it. We'll just have to test it again. That seems to be the name of the game here. Test, test, test. And if it doesn't work, adjust. Learn as you go. There we go. We have passed the 150. Okay, so, are these things loaded yet? No, they can still hold eight more shells. That is not half bad. That's not half bad. I think we can... We could just look for a target now. There's something out there, but I can't see it. Which probably means it's not in range either. Okay, let's go and hunt for some more resources and make sure that we have some, some, well, some in supply, some in store. How are the ducks? They're still alive. Huh. Moving now. You're in control. Moving Get now. over there. Duck two. You're all the way over there. Okay. Not bad. You're in control. Moving now. Waypoint mode there. There are resources in here, but really not anything interesting. And here, 4K and about 7. All right. Anything behind me that I need to pick up? Is something trying to laser me? What is that line? Ah. That's a hostile craft, is it not? Yeah, that would be a hostile craft. Okay. Let's see if the shell can reach it. The shell's speed is not that good at 570, but hopefully enough. Oh, no it's not. Okay, we'll need to get closer. I want to test that gun. I'm putting up a nice light show. But it's starting to damage my craft, which means it has to stop. That looked like it motivated him a little bit. But I think it needs more convincing that it's not a good idea to keep firing at my ship. Let's turn the AI off for a second. I just want to see if I can get those guns to uh, be brought to bear. Because I want to see what sort of damage output can I can expect. Whether they can pen the target, what sort of damage output they will have. Bit more of a firing arc than normal. 
That missed. Oh, jeez, there's a duck right next to it. Let's try not to hit the own ship. The friendly. Hmm. The good news is, we can slug this thing quite a bit. <laughs> Hold on, was that the whole gun? Are you empty now? Was that the whole mag? Nah, it wasn't. Ooh. Knocked out the AI. Seemed to do a decent amount of damage against that target. So you're dying. And disintegrating, that's good. How many resources are you going to leave behind for me then? 24k? I'm interested. What I'm also interested in is if I make another one of those guns, but I make it smaller, so I, I give it, let's say, 500mm barrels, I would need a 2 meter shell rack. Uh, I can expect a range of 7 kilometers. Rate of fire will be far less, of course, depending mostly on what sort of a uh, gun loader system I build. But armor pierce is quite good. It's 51.6. Explosive radius of 6.7 meters. Explosive damage is still quite low, though. It does also spawn heat fragments. 1,359 damage uh, for AP, and that's... That's per fragment. So that's potentially a fair bit, if it hits. That's always the big question. All right, Duckling. Welcome back to the fleet. Returning to oh, now. we got something behind us, port side. Moving now. You there, with me. Returning to over there. Now. You, over Moving here. Now. Looks like we have a new contender for the gun. Very good. Uh, spin that thing around, will you? Thank you. Whether this thing is actually interested in the amount of damage that it's taking, I don't know. I mean, is it actually doing anything useful? I'm not even sure if that thing was at full health or not. Hello? It seemed somewhat damaged, but not terribly so. Interestingly, however, it's not firing at me anymore. But I'm not sure why. Did I knock off detectors? That could be it. I could have knocked off its detectors, and thereby blinding the ship, meaning it cannot fire whatsoever. It is strange, though. Let's have a look at it. Uh, I do want the Glorious turning that way, towards the target. So tell me, what's your story? Because I had quite a few shells raining down on you. But I'd say it still has some sort of detectors on it. I know that's the, the larger radar system. Stop moving. That's a detector or a tracker. That's munition warners. It's mostly built out of wood though. Which means that the railgun can do a lot of damage. And something can even that can do even more amounts of damage would be the huge missile launcher. Where is it? Probably right ahead of me, but I can't see it. Resources, 170,000. I feel safer.
Come on, give me daylight. Decoy missiles. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Weapon three. Zoom in a bit. Pause. Let's have a look. Because it seemed to have taken about 20,000 points of frag damage and about 7,000 of high explosive. And sure, there are some parts coming off the ship, but I'm not really seeing any really substantial amounts of damage, nor am I damaging the ship below the deck. So I think that these guns that I currently use, the, let's say, quad barrel one, uh, 250s, are not that useful. Because if I were to fire my railgun at it once, it would probably do far more damage. That is, if I hit it. Weapon 5's out. We're gonna see if we can scavenge as much as we can of that pilferer, so that maybe in the next episode I can build another gun. Another 500mm gun, ideally, or at least something big. That does a lot of damage against more armor targets. Yeah, right. You think that that's going to distract me? Surprise. 184,000 damage. And it did not kill it, but it cut it down to little bits. Look at that. There's, I think there's one or two blocks that are keeping the bow and the stern attached. Wow. Unfortunately, I can't see what they have, but I might be able to capture it. Although it's still moving. That's exactly what I wanted to get off of it. Probably has some more propulsion, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Taking fire from something over here. I think we just happened to hit him in the cannon section or something. Hit him in the turret. I think trying to capture this thing right now is too dangerous. So there you go. I cut him in twice. And I can probably scavenge the results immediately. Just uh, volume of fire and hoping that that does enough damage. So far, I'm not even sure if I'm hitting the guy. Yeah, I am hitting the guy. But I think it has a laser on it. You see that? Just with the tower. What the hell is that? Is that a cram mortar? Okay, so it doesn't seem to be terribly impressed with my ability to throw out a lot of shells. What about my ability to launch a big missile at it? Is that going to be anything that it's interested in? I'm not even sure who's it shooting. I think those are coming to me. Those shells hop, well, almost in orbit. But it's, yeah, it's also fighting something behind it. This is probably going to leave a mark. If it hits. Yeah, it does hit. Those are definitely crab mortars. And then we have something else behind it. Looks like we need to get in on the action before that thing salvages everything. Hey, you. Got that out. Oh. I did launch the huge missile again. It's uh, moved towards the target. Come on. <sighs> I 
I need to aim better. I think the huge missile is going for the anvil again, which now seemingly has no more missile defense on it. Or at least I can't see it. Missed again. There it goes. Scratch that. I think that might have taken out the mortars. Unfortunately, it seems that the guy behind him has not yet taken an interest in me. Seemingly too busy to work over the anvil. Shielding. Multi-barrel APS. I need to see if I can get that APS knocked out. That's a good shot. Let's do it again. Same spot. There. A bit higher. We're uncovering the ammunition supply. Which could be devastating. Drive me closer. Oh, that was the mortars. The mortars are still functional. I thought they got knocked out, but not so much. That was a point-blank shot with the mor- Oh, here we go again. Wow, it actually killed the guy chasing it. Okay. Now, I've sent out all of my smaller missiles, including the huge one. Oh, never mind. Target dead. Very good. Very good. Because that means there are resources up for salvage. There's 24,000 there, and that's not even the guy who I'm... Oh. Oh, hold on. We can actually see who he is now. Anvil. 77% hit points. Don't you go salvaging my supplies now, buddy. You might have had a hand in killing that thing, but I also did quite a bit of it. I'm trying to see if I can get those mortars off. Even though my cram cannons, or my uh, anti-air guns can probably take care of it. There's not a lot left of this thing. Is it dying? Yeah, it's low health. Ceasefire. Game is starting to lag. There we go. How much are you going to donate? That was another 20,000-ish. And then this guy, although there's not much left to him. How much? How much? Hey ho, another 25. Very good. Very good. Um, in conclusion of this episode, I am not entirely unhappy with this gun, and I think I'm going to keep it, as it seems to be doing a, well an okay amount of damage against most targets. I'm going to hand it off to the AI. And then I'm going to have a look at building a different gun in the next episode. I would very much like to hold on to this railgun. I'm still happy with its performance, even though it is starting to... Well, it's starting to lose a little bit of its punch, considering the threats are getting bigger. So that means that the other gun is going to be potentially somewhere... I don't know, somewhere further back here, or... I might expand the... Yeah, I might do that off camera, by the way. I'm going to expand the ship a bit more. Make it bigger. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon for another episode.